What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic and today we're in the test branch because the survival creative mode update, I guess it's a creative mode update but it puts survival parts into creative mode. Anyway, it is live on the test branch and that's fantastic. So the first thing I actually wanna do is check out this blue button right here, this blue button to edit whatever's in the background here. I only really wanna try one thing. I don't wanna edit anything too crazy. All I wanna do is see if moving parts will work on that because if we can have a moving creation on the main menu, that'll just be amazing. If it's just static, then I mean, it's static, but we'll be able to find out pretty quickly here. Um, this is, this is so cool. Oh my good, this is amazing. This You're actually in the menu. Oh, it limits your, your walking. Like, I can't move any further. This is so neat. This is such a beautiful tile. All right, so we're just going to do a real simple test. Um, oh, my God. You could put a bot capsule in your main menu. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on a minute. If I, if I just, if I do this, right? If I just put a bot capsule here and then I shoot it. Okay, yeah, he's in, he's in the main menu. Yeah, okay, he's aggroed. He's aggroed on me. Um, yeah, no, I get that. Hold on, there's a code for this. So we can type no aggro, and, and that should, that, okay, that works in a creative mode, apparently. It doesn't work in the menu. Okay, this is, this might be problem. Hold on, what if I just quit the menu? Save before exiting, yes. All right, what, what, what is this gonna look like? Okay, he's just gone. So we can't have bots in the main menu. They'll just apparently despawn, so that's no problem. All right, so let's just do a real simple test. Uh, let's just put, you know, something, a, a pillar, whatever, let's put an engine on it, and, uh, I don't know. I, I have a feeling anything that's not attached to this platform is just completely despawned whenever you go to the menu. Where the heck are bearings? Oh, they don't even give you bearings. Oh, sick. Sick. They just, they actually don't even give us moving menu parts. Okay, so, th so that answers that question. There's no, like, if I search bearings, there's no bearings, there's no suspension, there's no pistons... Okay, so you literally can't do anything but static art, and if you try and place... Alright, well that answers that question, so I'll have to make some sort of a, a pixel art at some point. You can't do anything that moves because it just flat up... And I guess, yeah, let's let's do one more test. If I put a loose object here, I'm assuming that's just going to despawn when I quit, right? Save and quit. Oh, no, okay, the loose engine is there. That's interesting. Alright, so you can put loose parts... But you can't put any bearings. All right, I guess the million dollar question is, are there are there thrusters of any kind? There are. Well, hold on. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What stops me from doing this now? What, if, if loose parts stay, what stops me from flat up just doing this? I know this is taking a bit, but I feel like this is an important experiment that we must, we must figure out. So what if I just do like something like this, right? And then go like that and then break that off. So that's like free floating down in there. And then, you know, put, like, this is, this is probably a stupid idea, right? And then just do that. Perfect. Lowest power. That sounds good. And do we have a switch? Does it, does the game not give me, oh no, it gives me a switch. See, look at that. I, I feel like this is gonna, this might actually work. Hold on, this might be the moving parts conundrum. So you don't get bearings. Oh, I don't have a connection tool. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, you sneaky little buggers. Hmm, okay, so you have no way of connecting the thrusters up to anything. Well, we tried. All right, so uh, now that the main menu art is obviously, it, it has to be pixel art. I, I don't see any way. You could make something that moves using gravity if you could make a perpetual motion machine in Scrap Mechanic, but there's no suspension to make suspension glitches, and there's no bearings, and even if there were bearings and thrusters, there's no way to actually connect anything together. So anyway, we'll have to we'll have to play around with that more. I might try and come up with something clever that moves. Um, not exactly sure how to do that. But anyway, in the meantime, let's uh, jump right into a creative world and just check out the new update. All right, so right off the bat, you can already tell there's some tile changes. Uh, for example, look at those tiles. That looks like an actual creative forest tile, which is awesome. I'm assuming these trees are now all survival trees. Can I knock this? That's too big for a sledgehammer. That's already a good sign. Let's find a smaller tree here. Let's see if we can just knock this over. I'm assuming we can. I wonder if they actually replaced all... That's amazing. All right, that's just... That's cool. I wonder if they actually replaced all the trees on all the old tiles too, because it looks like... They've got big survival trees on those tiles. They might have actually done that. Um, no rock formations yet. Let's just spawn in a scooter real quick. 
do a quick little fly around the map now. Oh, look at that. That's nice. I like this. They've got actual hay pails here. This is cool. Perfect. Not that that really matters. That's, uh, I have foliage turned off, by the way, for creative mode. I, I could turn it on, I guess you guys can see. I find foliage a little bit annoying in uh, creative. I find it's easier to just, you know, find your creations, especially if you're building low to the ground. You don't have the foliage blocking it. Uh, but for the purposes of showing some of these tiles, we can apply it just at, at medium level. You can see it has a lot of grass and, and details. But yeah, pretty cool. Not a bad tile. The canyon tile looks pretty much the same. Except it seems like they legitimately went through and swapped out all the trees. That's amazing. So that's actually kind of cool. I want to check these farm tiles. Okay, these farm tiles had like really bad fake corn before. Uh, I'm going to turn foliage off again because it just loads and looks weird. But there we go. Perfect. All right. So these were... Oh, it's legit corn now. That's that's awesome. We can break it. But no corn drops. Okay. But it's, it's legitimate corn. That's amazing. Before, they were like these weird corn assets that I've never even heard of. But anyway, we got real cornfields now. That's cool. It would be kind of cool if we could collect them. Now, I did look through um, the scripts file in the scrap mechanic update. So, there is a scripts file. For example, you can do no aggro. Um, and then, see, that turns aggro off. And then you can do aggro, I believe, which turns aggro back on. And then there's aggro all, which is like even stuff outside of your range will get annoyed. That's for the bot spotters and stuff. I also looked through, and at the beginning of the file, they had a bunch of parameters for, uh, like, unlimited inventory, unlimited fuel, stuff like that. So you could enable those settings, uh, but there doesn't seem to be a command for it. Also, another cucumber field. So they changed the cucumber plants, I think, but the, you still can't do anything with them. It's, it's interesting. I haven't found any rock formations yet. Kind of, like, mineable rock formations. I'm kind of hoping there are some. Oh, here's the water. On the edge of the map and then we'll look at the new parts i know there's the bot spawners i'm sure everyone's like super anxious to fight bots against bots uh it is kind of nice that the devs added those aggro commands so that you don't have to worry about you know the bots fighting you you can actually let them fight each other um oh there we go there's some mineable rocks look at that perfect so there are there are mineable rocks in this world that's that's quite amazing all right let's take a look at some of these new parts uh, i mean the the tiles look fantastic the whole creative world honestly it seems like there's more trees now, and the tiles feel, like, better in some way. They almost feel, like, more dense. Even without foliage, they just feel, like, much cleaner. Um, it looks it looks more like the survival world, I guess, when you're in the creative world. It feels less like a completely different game, which I'm kind of digging. Now, if only they had an ability for us to transfer creative files, like, creative creations into survival easily. I know there's mods to do it and all that, but uh, it would be nice if that was included in the base game so we could actually prototype some stuff but this is awesome so far i'm super excited with how much this actually feels like survival all right so let's take a look at the inventory um i don't really know all the block types to be honest if they added a new block type i wouldn't be able to tell you uh logic i want to look for logic stuff so here's the new bot spotters you know what let's just let's just throw all these on a secondary bar here you'll notice before when i did that menu you have to break the capsules i already learned that unfortunately um I was talking to Cosmo about it, actually, and even if we pull out the connect tool, you see there's no connection on any of these capsules. So if you break the capsule, it'll spawn. Uh, he's not aggroed right now, obviously, because we have no aggro on, so he just doesn't care that I exist. Um, but yeah, there's there's unfortunately, there's no easy way, uh, yeah, thank you, there's no easy way to, uh, to have the capsules repeat, which is kind of unfortunate because I feel like that's super limiting in a lot of different ways. So if we take, like, a green bot capsule, for example, and if we want to do, like, a tower defense game, or, you know, even if we want to make, like, a, a MOBA or something, you could kind of do that, but you can't without the ability to respawn these capsules. So I, I'm, I'm assuming there's going to be a mod at some point where someone makes respawnable capsules. I would love for the devs to put this in on their own. I feel like that's just kind of a sort of essential thing. I feel like these should almost be, like, you know, like, if you want it to be a spawn capsule, fine, but you could almost have it as, like, a spawning platform even and every time you activate it with a logic signal it spawns a new bot rather than having them sealed in these cages i mean you could still make like tower defense games and stuff like that but everything's gonna have like a finite number of guys because you're gonna have to have them on these massive massive banks so just a little unfortunate i feel like there's a little bit of oversight there and uh, i really hope at some point the devs consider making it infinitely spawnable. Although I'm sure someone's going to come up with a mod within like, you know, 10 minutes of this test branch coming out. It's usually how things go. And uh, I'm sure they'll come out with something that is infinite. But in the meantime, I, I would like to see the devs do that. Now, obviously, I mean, while we're talking on the spawn capsules, you know, first thing in the list, uh, we might as well talk about the fact that they can fight each other. So if we have two capsules here 
and uh, we paint them. Obviously, we can paint one, you know, white, whatever, the other one blue. It doesn't matter as long as they're different colors. You break them, and they'll they'll go at each other. They'll they'll just yeah they'll just fight each other. You can do it with tape bots too. Oh, that was you won. Congratulations. Uh, here, try on this guy. There you go. Yeah, you got wrecked. All right. Well, you won. That's cool. What about you fighting this guy? Okay. Well, that was quick. All right. And what about you fighting this guy? Wait, what? You shot at him? Dude, what? Bro. Why are you shooting at him? He wasn't even spawned yet. He's on the same team as you. Do you just hate... You just hate buildings. Oh, cool. You just hate buildings. And now he's aggroed on that guy. They're gonna fight. Okay, you're gonna blow... Wow. Apparently, explodey tape bots are just OP. Um, get wrecked. Holy cow, these guys are actually OP. That's amazing. You literally, you just get, you just get, you get really upset. Oh, wait, what? Why did you shoot him? Do you just, do you just hate all, you just hate all tape bots? Is that what? Huh. Anyway, we're not going to spend too long with the bot spotters. I am going to do a video at some point where I actually try and look at, like, some math behind these and look at the odds of, you know, like, how many green guys does it take to kill a red guy, for example, and stuff like that. And then do a bunch of trials and find out consistencies. I have a feeling red tape bots are just going to win every, everything. Um, I feel like, yeah, it, there's going to be, like, a close combat versus a range requirement. But I feel like at range, even at close combat, I feel like they're just going to win. Uh, but anyway, we'll do a we'll do a dedicated video on bot spotters. Regardless, bot spotters, I think one of the coolest things in this update. I would like to see them change, though. Like I said, uh, infinite bot spotting would just open up the possibilities to all sorts of cool maps, especially in challenge mode. I don't know if any of these changes are in challenge mode. To be honest, I haven't checked. I might go and check uh, and just take a look and see if some of these things are in challenge mode. I honestly don't know what the state of challenge mode is. But obviously, if we could have stuff like this, uh, tower defenses and, of course, wave attacks or even, like, you know, full battle arenas where bots automatically spawn on either side to fight each other would just be super awesome, um, but a little bit difficult with the with the current state of these spawners. And then, of course, we can type aggro and uh, get them to all hate us. Yeah, what's up? What's up, bro? What's up? Don't worry. I have a defender, and he is this guy. I'm still invincible. This guy's gonna... He's gonna kill you. He's gonna get you. He's gonna... World's most exciting fight ever. That's that's great. Look at this. Look at this. this one guy. This guy right here. He's gonna kill you both. No. Oh shoot. No aggro. Don't aggro on me. No. I can't spell. No spell. There we go. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah. You're dead. This is gonna, this is never gonna get old. I literally could just spawn these bots for hours. So, other things to note in the uh, survival update, they've added the water cannon. Um, I don't think that was there before because there wasn't water. Like I said, there are consumable items now. So, there's water, um, gas. The settings by default, I believe, are on unlimited fuel but and unlimited ammo. But you can't enable those if you go into the scripts file. I don't know if they're gonna make a command for that. It seems like there isn't. Like, if I type uh, limited... I don't think that, see, it doesn't do anything. And unlimited, same thing. So there's no commands for it yet in creative, unlike if you're in dev mode and survival. I'm not sure if they plan on adding commands or not. It would kind of make sense. Right now, you could definitely go into the scripts file, just change it, and it's just a bunch of true or false parameters. And I'm pretty sure you can just change it and try it out. Um, I haven't actually done that, but they do have ammo, and we could theoretically do challenges that involve fuel and hook up engines properly to fuel tanks and stuff like that. So you could simulate an entire survival element in creative mode. I'm pretty sure you could also turn off god mode for your character. Um, they've added, let's see, spud containers. Yeah, see here. So we've got the consumables. I guess if we go look at the consumables, there we go. We've got the four consumables. Um, what else do we have in terms of new parts? I'm trying to find this day-nighttime sensor, but maybe they haven't added it yet. I feel like they didn't. I kind of was hoping they would. Did they not? Okay, so what do we got? We got radios, tote block heads, we've got spawners, bot spawners, other stuff. Useless stuff. Is there, did they honestly, they put consumable parts. Um, did they not, did they not put the clock? I feel like they didn't put the clock. What is this? Block not found? Hello? Why hello, block not found? How are you? That's very interesting. I'm not running any mods, by the way. That's just a block not found. Well, I'm actually, I'm actually disappointed. There's no clock. There's no, is there a timer? Okay, what about, um, I guess it would be an interactive part. 
I don't think they've added it. No. All right, well, real quick, let's go check out challenge mode and see if the bot spotters are there. All right, loaded up a new challenge uh, with challenge builder. Haven't been in this in like forever, but just curious. So we got, seems like we got the new block types for creative. Uh, we've got the challenge parts. We've got the con all the consumables. Okay. Do we not have bot spotters? Do we have honestly all the consumable items? Interesting. They even gave us component kits. So we can spawn in a random component kit. But we can't spawn bots into challenge mode. Interesting. So there's no possibility to make challenges with bots just yet. Which is, I think, very unfortunate. I really hope they make a challenge mode spawner. Like, we've got an explosive canister spawner and a ball spawner. Just give us a bot spawner. You know, let us spawn in bots in challenge mode. And uh, I feel like that would be wonderful. But alright, let's get back into creative mode. Seeing as how uh, challenge mode has all the survival parts. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have any of the new update parts, it seems. All right, we're back in the creative world, and unfortunately, I think that's it for this update. It is the test branch, so the full update hasn't actually been released into the public branch yet, so there is still time for them potentially to add the timer before the public release. In their dev blog there, they said that uh, the timer, I think, was like a maybe. It wasn't necessarily going to be finished in time. And they also said, too, there was going to be like a tutorial block, which I'm not seeing any of. There was like a thing you could place on your lift instead of the handbook, so I don't see any of that either. So we'll see if those things come out, but I guess um, before we go... Uh, one final test. We're just gonna- we're gonna go no aggro here. And, uh, I haven't done any of these tests before yet, but I want to see how many stupid little green guys does it take to kill a red guy. I feel like there's a number. I feel like- I feel like we're gonna find out what that number is. So we're gonna paint the red guy red. And, uh, the green guys, I guess we'll just- we'll just paint him green. And we're just gonna have him fight- we're gonna have him fight the red guys. Like I said, I am gonna do battle videos, but let me know in the comments down below what you think of this update. It's a lot smaller than I thought it was. I thought they were gonna add the timer part. I really want to do some experiments with the, uh, with the daylight sensor. Also, the daylight doesn't seem to progress yet, although there might be a setting for it. Oh, that's right. There's one more setting I want to talk about. Physics quality. Physics quality. I forgot about this. Phys let's, okay, hold on. Let's kill all these guys first, and then physics quality. We're gonna, we're gonna take a look at this. Apparently, if you have a bad computer, you can lower the physics quality, which makes the calculations hilariously bad, but uh, apparently speeds up your computer. So I want to just try driving a simple car and uh, see how that goes. But anyway, we're going to start here. All right, you're dead. Yeah, nothing. All right, here we go, boys. There's 20 of you and there's one of him. You could He is bigger than you, but together you can combine your powers. You have more limbs than him. It, it, let's go, let's go, let's go. Everybody, er oh my god, there's too many capsules. Why are you going the wrong way? Everybody fight, 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 fight. Let's go. Swarm him. Oh, God. He takes out so many. Oh, no. Get him. Get him. You, I believe. I, yes. Yeet him. Yeet him. Did he die? He died from the yeet. Oh, no, he didn't. Shoot. He's back alive. Yeet him, guys. Yeet him. You can do it collectively. I believe. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 20 of your brothers died. But freedom has its costs. If you want to have free- I don't know. Just- just go do it. Just do it. Just do it, man. Just do it. Just- I believe. Yes, yeah, sneak attack! Sneak attack! Get him when he's not looking! Hit him! Hit him when he's not- they, These guys honestly might not even do any damage to him. They really- they really might- Oh, yes, yeet him. That seemed to work last time. He honestly might only be taking fall damage when he gets yeeted. Oh! Oh! Beat him up! Beat him while he's down! Hit him while he's down! Oh, he's dead! Let's go! That was like 27 dudes! And then the rest... Oh, there's one survivor. Alright. So the final thing I want to check, uh, other than this block not found, that's just... I really hope that's the timer block. Anyway, let's, uh, let's spawn in a basic car. This is a car I've used a lot of. It's a Humvee. Built it a long time ago, back when, uh, Scrap Mechanic was just, I don't know, a long time ago. Anyway, uh, back when the doors used to close. See, now the doors, they don't, they don't do the closing thing anymore because of, uh, you know, the, the, I don't know, something changed and now doors don't close. Anyway, this is my Humvee. We're on, obviously, the regular physics, advanced physics calculation. It's relatively heavy vehicles made of concrete back when concrete wasn't heavy. And, uh, let's just, let's just see what happens if we go to, we go to one physics. Okay. All right. Um, it's interesting. Do the doors close now? The doors do not close. What about the back? Well, the back still works fine. Uh, oh. Okay. It, it stayed open for a bit there. Doesn't seem to close fully. Uh, can it? Interesting. 
Interesting. Okay, so this is... <laughs> this is good. This is good. This is good. This is this is this is what this is what the game intended with low physics calculation. This is like the floppy wheels race, like where we had that one creation that caused floppy wheels to happen. This is we can just recreate it. Now, hold on, what if what is physics two? Okay, slightly. You know, at what? Hold on, let's go back to physics full. There we go. It snaps right out. Of it. At what point does it deteriorate? Physics eight seems to pop the trunk. Okay. There's no 9, it's just 8. 7 keeps the trunk pop. 6, 5, 4, 3, oh, 2, 2. So at 2, it just deteriorates. It becomes a nightmare. But at 3, it's... 3, it was okay. Can it... Can we stand up at 3? Can we get back? Can we get back? No? Alright, I don't know how good this is gonna be if you have a bad computer. I mean, I'm sure the calculation is simpler, but if you can't drive a vehicle... I don't, I don't know if it's gonna matter. Hold on, this car might, maybe it's got too many moving parts. It's got a lot of bearings and controllers and stuff. What if we take the, like, the smallest car I have? The absolute, this is, this has got to be the simplest car you could possibly build. Here we go, we're on what, physics 3 again? We're still on physics 4, let's go physics 1. Alright, what is this? You know, it just, it just doesn't like suspension. It, you know what, it doesn't even like steering. This is like the most basic setup. It doesn't even like that, to be honest. Oh my, this is... Alright. <laughs> Feels like the car's got noodle legs. You know, look at that camber. It's it's actually like a camber creator. Look at that, we got some we got some sick camber going on. That's how you know you're, we're, we're a deadly serious race car. I mean, we could do a race with this stuff. It is just... It is... It is terrible. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I don't know what the purpose of the i feel i really want to see somebody with a really bad computer now show me what the physics if you have a really bad computer okay go on twitter and tweet me a video of scrap mechanic running on physics well i want to see your frame rate get better and the physics just get terrible but i want to see the actual effect of it i feel like this is a performance saver for sure but i don't really know like i mean it doesn't change my frame rate because it's kind of it's just the same so you know it's at a cap so i mean i i'd love to see Oh my god, this is terrible to drive. But yeah, I'd love to see as it's intended. But let me know what you guys think of this update in the comments down below. Make sure, of course, you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I don't think I missed anything, did I? I'm kind of, I'm kind of sad. I wanted to play around with the timer, but I don't think I really, I don't think I missed anything else. Unless there's some parts in here that I honestly didn't pay attention to. But yeah, we'll definitely have to do some bot battles. I really do want to work out on a spreadsheet. Um, all the different bot ratios and stuff like that and see what's good versus what but let me know what you guys think and as always I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see y'all next time